Let's go back to when we first got the keys to our new home, August 2023. The house came with quite a lot of fruit trees, and it was nearing the end of summer, so there was a lot of fruit. Most of it was already rotting away, so first job was clear away the bad apples from the back garden. Some were salvageable and went into our fruit bowl. The back garden also has a good sized pear tree. I had multiple wheelbarrows full of apples that were either rotten or had wasp holes in them. So I took these to a corner of the land to decompose over the rest of autumn. If we thought we had a lot of eating apples, we have even more cooking apples. This is a huge cooking apple tree, growing huge cooking apples. Every family member who came to help was sent away with bags of them to make apple crumbles. We have lots of other fruit trees too, including these Victoria plums. We have European plums, a fig tree, hops. But the thing we have most of was blackberries. As much as we hate all the brambles in our land, they at least gave us buckets full of blackberries. And what better thing to make with them than blackberry gin? This is how we make it. Collect your blackberries and leave them in the freezer overnight. I have these sealable two litre jars from Ikea that are perfect for home infusions. For each two litres of gin, you need 500 grams of blackberries. You'll also need 200 grams of sugar. Add all these ingredients together, give them a good shake so the sugar dissolves in the gin, then leave them to infuse for a few months in a cool dark place. This batch we made in September, so it will be perfect for Christmas, although the longer you leave them the better the flavour. Just give the jars a little shake every now and then to make sure all the sugar's dissolved. At Christmas time I'll strain out the blackberries with some cheesecloth and a strainer leaving us with a perfect homemade blackberry gin. I can't wait for next spring, when we get to see these fruit trees blossom again.